the first trailer of the Frasier revival is here, and it's clear Kelsey Grammer has effortlessly stepped back into his iconic character all these years later. The trailer for Paramount Plus's revival of the classic NBC series tells fans, Frasier is back, and he's basically the same. The titular shrink is entering the next chapter of his life, returning to Boston and trying to repair his relationship with his son Freddie, Jack Cutmore Scott, who has a new girlfriend and isn't willing to see his father. The revival will also star Only Fools and Horses legend Nicholas Linter Staz Frazier's college friend and university professor Alan, Toxola Gundoye as Olivia, Alan's colleague and head of the university's psychology department, Jess Sagaro as Freddie's roommate Eve, and Anders Keith as Frazier's nephew David. In the trailer, Frazier explains to his friends what happened when he visited his son unannounced and Freddy's reply to seeing more of Frazier, to which Alan jokes, Have you ever considered that he hates you? Only Fools and Horses Nicholas Lindhurst hailed a revelation in Frazier reboot Frazier tells Freddy he won't take no for an answer, so he moves back to Boston to be nearer. At the end, Frazier says that for once, he wants for nothing, although he's eager to date again. However, noticeably absent from the trailer and series is actor David Hyde Pierce, who played Frasier's brother Niles on the original show. In 2022, Grammer told People that the revival had been on the slow burner for about six or seven years, and explained why his on-screen brother isn't reprising his role. He said he and the producers involved went back and forth on the plot as well as who might come back. Grammar explained, For a while we were going to try to bring back the whole cast, the whole legacy cast. However, Hyde Pierce bowed out, making Grammar and the producers go back to square one. Don't miss! First look pictures show Nicholas Lindhurst taking up role in Frasier reboot, picks, only fools and horses legend to make TV return for sitcom reboot, latest, Frasier reboot will honor late Kirstie Alley, tribute, he added, David basically decided he wasn't really interested in repeating the performance of Niles. After Frasier, Hyde Pierce went on to start a theater career and recently starred as Julia Child's husband Paul in the HBO Max series Julia. Grammer revealed the casting development ended up working out, though, saying, in a very funny way, it just took us to a new place, which was what we originally wanted to do anyway, which was a Frasier third act. It's an entirely new life for him. Hyde Pierce previously told Vulture, that whole time of my life, the writing on those shows, the actors I got to work with, all of that is deeply important to me. And I would never disrespect that in such a way as to say just offhandedly, oh, no, thanks. I'm not going to do that again. It's too valuable to me. However, he added that because it is so valuable to him, he wouldn't do it just to do it. Hyde Pierce also explained that he believed the show could be done without him, comparing to Frasier's success after Cheers, where the cast only returned for single episodes. There was something else that needed to be said, and it needed to be said in a different way. And maybe they will find that, and I'll be in it. Or maybe they'll find it, and they won't need me to be in it. Jane Leaves, who played Daphne, is also not part of the revival. B.B. Newworth, who played Fraser's ex-wife and colleague Drive. Lilith Sternan, and Piri Gilpin as Crane's former radio producer Ross will both make guest star returns. John Mahoney who played Frasier and Niall's father, Martin, died in 2018. 
programmer is certainly happy to be playing the character again, saying to people, he's our brave little soldier that continues on in life, finding new challenges and a new love and new people and a new city and stuff like that, really very excited about it. The 10 episode first season will premiere with two episodes on Thursday, October 12 and drop new episodes weekly. Frasier originally premiered in 1993 and ran for 11 seasons. It was the most Emmy winning series of all time with 37 wins, until that record was smashed by HBO's Game of Thrones in 2016. Frasier still holds the record for most wins by a comedy series, though and the original series is available to stream on Paramount Plus 2.